Welcome back everybody to another adventure. My name is Nick and today we are checking out a ride in Bentonville, Arkansas. We took this trip back in May and it's taken me a while to get through some of the footage, but we're finally here. We've got something fun, some cool ride footage and wanted to tell the story behind our trip. This trip was taken by myself, uh, some good friends, Mike, Jacob, and Brent. We headed up down to Bentonville in my Tundra back in May. We all made sure to get the proper PTO so that we could rest easy knowing that we had a solid four days to spend down in Bentonville. We stayed in Kohler Mountain Bike Park. There is a beautiful campground there. Most of it is rustic, but they do have some camper van style pads and areas for camper vans to come in, which is obviously a very common thing found with traveling mountain bikers. And these rustic campsites were very well taken care of. Beautiful, secluded, private. They had these nice elevated areas for your tents off the ground and a level. They had beautiful shower houses and bathroom houses. You would think that you were at some sort of, you know, elegant, extravagant uh, location. Wait, this isn't a campground. What? Where are we? Right there in Kohler is the campground to all of these beautiful mountain bike trails. There's some notable ones like Thunderdome as well as Fireline. And we made sure to check out the Starship Cafe. They have coffee and beer. So this was certainly the place that we wanted to call home base for our trip. In preparation for this trip, I did my best to spend a few hours and a couple rides on the trainer in April, wanting to make sure that I was prepared for all the riding that we were going to do. And that only turned out so well. I just feel like garbage. I really don't want to do it. It's hard, okay? I don't want to be here. Of course, uh, life gets in the way. So when we showed up to Bentonville, I was only so prepared, which was okay because the rest of the group was all in the same kind of boat, not wanting to push things too hard and explode on a ride and not be able to make it back to the trailhead. So we were all kind of in it together, enjoying the trip for what it was, trying to enjoy as much as we could without overdoing it. We left at about 6 a.m. on a Thursday, taking the nine hour drive down to Bentonville, rolled into Kohler about late afternoon, made sure to unpack the truck and get settled in at our campsite and head out for our first trail where we found dual solemn Thunderdome. What? I'm in the back Have we died and gone to heaven? Thunderdome. It's a dual solemn style trail where they actually have two trails running consecutively next to one another. And tonight they were hosting uh, an event which was really cool to roll up on. This was the first trail that we saw as we rolled into Bentonville that day. And so it was quite a welcoming sight to feel like you're immediately a part of the scene there. Mike was hungry for some jumps. I, on the other hand, am new to jumping, still haven't figured out the technique, so I'm quite timid. These features are not something I've never seen before, but they were super fast, very exaggerated, very large, so a little intimidated. But I'll tell you what, I was beaming ear to ear, and for the first trail we hit rolling into Bentonville, that was uh, quite the start. We spent a little bit more time at Kohler, exploring the different areas like the Hub and Fireline, Esther, and a few others. This certainly was kind of at the top of my comfort level. As you can see, some of these berms were super big, very large and sweeping, really fast. Had to make sure to lean the bike over and approach those berms in the top of the berm so that you can really keep that speed without just pulling up your brakes. Same goes for these jumps. These jumps were really long, so I just sort of rolled them. That's something that I've always struggled with, having that commitment level to use my speed appropriately. Mike, on the other hand, has very little inhibition. He grew up riding BMX bikes and slope style snowboards. Uh, this coming season, I've got uh, to take a tip out of Mike's jump book and maybe find a couple trails to practice on and really commit with some better speed.
next day was Friday. We headed out downtown. Jacob had to go stop at the Fat Tire Bike Shop in downtown Bentonville. He had a little bit of a spill and needed his dropper trigger replaced. They were awesome. They took care of us right there on the spot. We were in and out in about 45 minutes. And leaving from the back parking lot of Fat Tire, we headed around town to the trailhead for Slaughter Pen, which is famously known, and headed into the trail system from there. Have fun. I just don't want to get hurt. How about it? Oh yeah! That one was nice and aggressive. After spending a little bit of time on Slaughter Pen and the local trails to downtown Bentonville, we meandered a little bit further to find Handcut Hollow, which is where you'll find us in our next video, and a little bit down in Hobbs State Park and a couple other trails. If you want to see the rest of the footage from this trip, of course, we have one more video as well as a video that happened right before this one is a little preparation into moving into Bentonville. Make sure to subscribe and follow, hit that thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.